all men are sinners and they have no right to go to heaven. And that's universally true. Therefore, if we go to heaven, it's not because we have a right, it's because God is gracious. The best illustration I know of that is God sovereignly, graciously saving infants that die or fetuses that are, are aborted. God in grace saves the little ones that die. And I think the case is made all through the scripture that he does that. In the Old Testament, for example, when uh, pagans, uh, idol worshipers, offered their children to Moloch and, and set their baby on, an, on a fire and it was incinerated, the prophet Jeremiah called it the death of the innocents. God even refers to those sacrificed babies as innocent. That's pretty significant. They are innocent, which means they're not guilty. I think another passage that weighs in on this is Mark 10, where Jesus said, permit the little children to come to me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Pretty hard to dismiss that. And then he did something that he never did for unbelievers. He gathered those little ones into his arms and, and the text says he blessed them. You can't find a place in the Bible where God places blessing on people who aren't part of his kingdom. And that's an act of grace. And it becomes a kind of model for how God even saves adult sinners. It's all by sovereign grace. You know, when you think about the fact that heaven is gonna be populated by people from every tongue and tribe and nation, as it says in the book of Revelation, how could that happen? Because the gospel hasn't necessarily in every area era of time gone to every tongue and tribe and nation. But, but high mortality rates in um, non-Christian, third world, and false religion environments produce people for heaven. And I think God has been gathering little ones from every tongue and tribe and nation around the world throughout all of human history. The obvious thing to say to somebody who had an abortion, if you feel guilty about what you did, would you like to see that guilt turned into hope and even joy? Well, how, how could that ever happen? It can happen because you can be rejoined forever with that child in the presence of God. If you, if you understand the sin, you repent of the sin, that sin is completely forgiven, it is forgotten, it is off the books, it is out of the picture for those that are believers. Past is done with if you're in Christ, those that are believers. Past is done with if you're in Christ. Now, this, is, this isn't cancel out the rest of your life. When you aborted that baby, uh, although it, it was sinful to do that, it was wrong to do that, that baby went immediately into the presence of the Lord. The worst that you could do brought about the best that could ever happen to that life. As the early church used to say when an infant died, he passed through the world without ever being touched by sin into the presence of the Lord.